Hey! This is Sunny. I don't know why I did that. Um, so I'm banning bleed by myself, alone, no one else. It's just me. Hey guys. Um, I chose to play bleed because it's a really cool and fun game. <laughs> it's like one of the first indie games I ever got and played. Uh, I should probably reset my stuff, but I kind of don't remember how to reset my save. Uh, anyway, this is a pretty cool game. <laughs> I uh, had a lot of fun with it back in the day, and you know, I feel like I feel like it would hold up. And a lot of love, obviously, went into this game. I like went through this game just to make sure I could still do it, uh, and so that's why everything's kind of done. I was gonna go through it on very hard, but then I was like, no, because. I feel like it would take too long. I just wanted this to be a short, you know, run through kind of deal. Uh, so yeah, here we go. No wait, I'll do that. The Blob Guppy, a charming and resourceful slug who starred in a popular series of collectathon games. With the help of his kitty pals, Guppy saved his family business by collecting discarded items from around the world and turning them into marketable products. He has since retired quietly to a large estate. We're gonna go murder him. We're gonna go murder him go on normal because this game is actually pretty hard on hard and I'm not the greatest. Uh, I just ran through it on normal. I haven't really even gotten all the upgrades or anything. Uh, just to make sure it's all good. The game isn't the easiest. I mean it is once you kind of get the hang of what the game is. So gameplay wise you have the air dash which you get three of. It's a lot of mobility, a lot of fastness. Uh, you have your gun, and I think you can switch. That reflects projectiles, that's why I have it. And then you can also use bullet time, which is pretty important. I mean, I don't really need it right now. Oh god. Oh god. I also have never talked as I went through this game, so I figured, you know, give myself a new challenge of this, you know, power. Oh god, I keep saying that. I'm trying to go through this. Oh shit! I'm trying to go through this kind of, you know, reactions-based kind of high-speed shooter while I'm talking, and hopefully not stumbling all over myself. Jeez. Just rampaging through guppies, guppies place, shooting kitties in the face. Feels like it's been a really long time. Despite, oh shit. Despite the fact that I actually went through this quite recently. I mean, I went through it. Oh, fuck you. Oh, go fuck you. I went through it like about a month ago. I should have used both time. I didn't. Went through it about a month ago. A little bit more than that, actually. I feel like <laughs> I'm not the greatest at this. You should definitely look up speedruns, they're really dope. Ah, fuck me. I'm getting my ass handed to me. Oh no! That had a fun little nod. I'm totally gonna die on this guy. Oh man. I have no life. Sorry, I stopped talking. <laughs> Ooh. 
This is a fun game. <laughs> anyway, that was Guppy. I know it's kind of quick, but it's kind of what the game is. <laughs> uh, just to show you guys that I don't have everything still. I just got um, time, like the more bullet time thingy that makes you use less so fast and it recovers quicker. And I think I just got the katana and a couple health and time upgrades. Read about the worms, Gibby and Stu. A brave pair of puzzle platformer heroes who proved that true love surpasses time and space. When Stu was captured by a nefarious exotic oh yeah, it's exotic exotic bait company, Gibby crossed land and Hansi to be reunited with her lover. Together they took down the evil corporation and disappeared to their fiery natural habitat. And we're gonna go murder them. Tunnel into the Earth's core and squish Gibby and Stu with slimy fifth best heroes of all time. Nice that they share a slot. So this game has a pretty good job of making all of its stages feel very unique. And the music's not bad. Oh, I just got hit. I'm not using the bullet time as much as I should. Also, be ready to hear that sound a lot because I'm going to be shooting all the time. It's kind of got to be. But the boss fights really where this game shines. Like the stages are really fun and unique, but the bosses are all very cool. Like <laughs> I know that's not the best descripting terms, describing terms. But none of the bosses in this game feel like cheap. They feel like like just you gotta learn how to fight them, you know. And once you do, they become easy. Like I didn't even get hit fighting Guppy at the end there, you know. I mean, I did at one point. But like once you figure out like the mechanics and how you should be doing these things, it stops being about that, you know. Like the, the difficulty becomes something different. It's not. It's not, uh, it's not like Bloodborne, Bloodborne, no, fuck it, Bloodborne, it's not like the Bloodborne, you turn a corner and there's a dude there and you get slapped upside the face and you're like, oh, fuck you, okay, well, now I know that there's a guy there, that doesn't really happen in this game, there's no cheap shots, like, they don't throw anything at you that you shouldn't be prepared for, and I think that's really commendable and, like, that's good game design, that's not easy to do. Gibby and Stu, Red Hot Lovers. No, oh, no, I am doing that accent. I think it's kind of funny. Case in point, I just ran straight through the Gibby and Stu level. Holy shit. Oh, shit. Uh. Yeah, case in point, like, you might have seen him or Gibby and or Stu plops out at the, in the room before them so you can kind of understand how they're going to be coming out of the walls and trying to hit you before you even fight the boss. Oh hey, look at that. That's right. Gibby and Stu aren't hard. They're probably the easier. So I don't even think I got hit that entire time. Anyway. <laughs> Read about the robot. The robot white. Star of an obscure indie platformer, White was a humble machine called upon to save mankind from rogue AI where he learned to think, feel, and even love. When his creator passed away, he secluded himself in the top of a massive skyscraper and has not been heard from since. Until we go murder him. Let's go, guys. Mission 3. Infiltrate high security complex to dissemble White, the robotic fourth best hero of all time. This is like a nice unique little level here. See, you get like these little things. If you, if you touch the red wires, uh... Oh shit. Gotta get that wall jump. And then it makes a whole bunch of dudes spawn and come and kill you. I did that on purpose. So you can see, like it makes a bunch of little dudes. Oh shit. 
Oh shit. I started talking and I threw my game off, sorry. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I'm fucking up real hard this time. Oh, fuck me. Am I counting my wall? Oh no. Oh, that was bad. That was really bad. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's also one of the things I like is those game over screens. Rin, I think, has how you pronounce her name. Uh, will pop up and give you a little motivation on. We'll get him next time, and it's pretty good. Well, not. It's not good. It's it's, it's nice. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. I'm not gonna suck ass this time. You really gotta use that bullet time. Fuck. I say as I hit the red wire. Okay. Doing a lot better this time than uh, <laughs> shut up and play the damn damn game. Ah, my toes. Alright. It's another boss time, I think. Oh, I think we do this little sequence and then we get to the boss. This is a nice background, too, I think. Okay. The art style is simple. But not like too uh, pixely, I guess. One of the things I don't like, like a. This game came out during like the great era of retro style indie games. But one of the things I like is like it doesn't do the thing where it's just the most God, I can't talk and play this at the same time, sorry guys. It doesn't do the thing where it's just this super like bitty, like lazily done pixel graphics. Where it's obvious that they're just trying to cash in on the pixel style, like it makes use of this simplistic art style of like the pixels to be really good. Like <laughs> once again, not the best at describing things while, ta while playing this game. The game has a unique art style, and it looks good. It looks fine. Like it, it makes it work. Like it's not lazy pixel graphics. It's not one of the bajillion like 8-bit games that was flooding the market at the time. They actually did a pretty good job in like creating a pretty like likable art style. Okay. I forgot how to fight White. It's been too long. Shit. White's always giving me the most trouble, I think. Oh fuck me. Just because he's not more straightforward. Oh, I fucked that up. Ah, oh, I fucked it up again. Oh, good. Oh, fuck me. Dang, my ass handed to me. Oh my god. Oh, I did it! Try hard silence, give me strength! Woo! Ugh. Man. Tense. Ugh. Blah. Blah.